And so a pneumothorax and a tension pneumothorax. All a pneumothorax is, it means that there's an air bubble somewhere inside the thoracic cavity that's not inside the lungs. Um, and it, but it's not growing. It's, it's not growing or it's not, it's not big enough to be life-threatening. A tension pneumothorax is a pneumothorax that continues to grow. Okay, the bubble keeps on, the air bubble keeps on growing and growing and growing and can become uh, life-threatening. Hemothorax and hemonumothorax. Hemothorax just means that, that instead of air, pneumo means air, no air in the chest, pneumothorax, air in chest. This just means blood in chest. So instead of having an accumulation of air, we have a, a buildup of blood that is causing the pressure on the on the lungs to collapse and the heart to not compress or contract adequately and then a hemonumothorax just means that you have a combination of both uh, blood and air cardiac tamponade means that there is fluid building up between the heart itself and that membrane that surrounds the heart remember every single organ in your body has a skin just like you do the heart has a skin too that skin is called the pericardial sac okay so cardiac tamponade is when there's blood between that pericardial sac and the heart itself. And uh, if blood continues to build up between the sac and the heart, it's the exact same thing as a tension pneumothorax. Um, that pressure will not allow the heart to contract adequately because of all that pressure that's put upon it. Um, aortic injury, we kind of already talked about this. Like uh, that's talking about the aortic um, abdominal aneurysm that can burst. Remember that big aorta that can burst in the chest and cause a lot of bleeding for your patient. So that's what that's talking about. So this was just what I talked about um, uh, as far as um, pneumothorax versus tension pneumothorax. So I'm gonna give you guys like two minutes, three minutes to write these definitions down.